I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll try to explore what is speed and what is velocity. We are working on rates of change and whenever we are on this topic of rates of change, I think speed and velocity is always of our prime concern. So to take a very simple example, I will imagine that there is an object which is traveling along this, this straight path, right? And what we are going to assume here is that uh, there is a camera which is mounted at a point and from there we are trying to monitor the situation right so what we'll assume here is that uh, let us say we have a camera here at C right so this is the camera which is following the object correct and uh, we will consider speed and velocity and see how they are similar and how they are different so in our example we will consider an object starting at this point where just where the camera is that means initially at t equals to zero uh, we will say that the distance is is zero right so that is what we will start with and uh, let us decide about a path so we say at t equals to zero the the object is moving uh, with a velocity it starts moving so distance is equals to zero but at t equals to uh, let us say three seconds right so the distance is uh, let us say 15 meters so, so let us say that is the kind of situation we have and at t equals to four seconds distance is still a uh, 15 meters let us say that is that means the object is at rest okay so this is the starting point for us. So let us say here we have the object and it is moving forward, right? So it is moving forward and it moves a distance of 15 meters in three seconds, right? And then, uh, I mean, this is three seconds and just stops there for, for some time, which is, which is one second. So that is the kind of figure we have. Now this could be represented in, uh, position time graph and in distance time graph. So we'll, we'll look into this situation and we'll represent this situation in both uh, position time graph and in distance time graph. So, so we'll have two different graphs and I hope with that example uh, you will appreciate uh, what is the difference between the two things. Some of you already know, but I still find students uh, really getting confused about this concept. So let us say this is time in seconds, right? So this is time in seconds. And here we'll take position, right? So position in meters. And here we'll take distance in meters. Distance is a scalar quantity. It always does not have direction. Position is a vector quantity, right? So to start with, we are saying that... Uh, uh, the object is at rest and in one two three seconds the object moves to a distance which is which is 15 right so we'll write 15 here so that is the first leg as far as the position is concerned the position is also same right so it is 15 in in three units of seconds time right so that is so the graph is exactly same at this moment now next part is that at this time the object stops for for about one second now on the graph we know this time is passing by so what we will do here at this stage is we'll show that one second here as as this distance right so this is stopping time for the object it stops now at this stage uh, what object decides is to move backwards and it <clears throat> it moves backwards and it covers a distance let us say uh, let's say it comes back let's return okay let's return back and returning this distance of 15 it takes let us say five seconds so it's slowly it comes and takes five seconds to return so that is to say that in this particular let me go to this position since you know the position is right where it started from so it is one two three four and five more so one two three four five so after 
five seconds it kinds of come back to its original position so that is the position graph right but as far as the distance is concerned you will appreciate that the distance traveled is uh, 15 while going in one direction and 15 while coming back so which of course took longer time so instead of three it will be one two three four and five but it is the same distance uh, 15 right so it is kind of here so we say well that is the position so what we see that during from this distance time graph and from position time graph so this is for us position versus time correct and this is for us distance versus time so what do you notice here you see very clearly that after this is like 3 this is 4 and 4 plus 5 is 9 seconds so in total of 9 seconds in both the cases right the object actually went 15 meters away stopped for a second and came back the same distance but in more time 5 seconds correct so that is the situation which we have now from these figures I hope that the concept of understanding speed and velocity is is absolutely clear so when we say rate of change of speed so so we say rate of change of speed we are doing a change in distance over change in time but when we change rate of change of velocity then we are considering change in position over change in time do you get the idea right so therefore now as an exercise what you can do is that you can find rate of change of speed in different intervals so if I have these intervals right so and the overall rate of change in speed and in velocity so what do you get so for the first leg let me call this as my first leg right and let this be the second leg this be the third leg for the first leg you can see both are same correct rate of change of speed and velocity is exactly same right it is uh, what is it so we say rate of change of speed uh, equals to in this case since it covers a distance of 15 meters over three seconds I should say actually rate of change of distance with time and say speed equals let's restrict ourselves to speed itself so we say speed is equals to change in distance over change in time let me add the word average speed to make it very clear so average speed is change in distance over change in time which is 13 over I mean 15 over 3 uh, which is 5 meters per second and it happens to be exactly same for the velocity also so average velocity in the first three seconds is five meters per second in the next second also the average velocity in the next second is same right and in the third second it is very different in I should say in the third leg it is very different in the third leg what we see here is that the speed so let me now analyze the third leg in the third leg the change is from this is 30 right now the distance is 30 so speed here is equals to 30 minus 15 divided by time which is 9 minus 4 right 9 minus 4 correct so it is 15 divided by 5 which is 3 meters per second perfect in this particular case the the velocity is indeed equals to 0 minus 15 so the final position is 0 away right minus 15 over same change in time so it is minus 3 meters per second do you see that so so what we find is that the speed is always positive correct but the velocity could be positive or negative right of course both could be 
zero also, correct? But now, if my question is, what is the average? Now, my question for you is, average speed and velocity for the first nine seconds, right? So, so if he, if the question is find the average speed and velocity for the first nine seconds, then we are going to get very different results. So in that case, what we get for the speed is, let me write down for speed, total distance covered is 30 and total time taken is nine units, right? So, so as far as the speed is concerned, it is 30 over 9 meters per second. But as far as the velocity is concerned, it is position change is zero, right? So, so velocity uh, will be zero over, over 9 seconds, which is zero meters per second. So what I want to highlight here is that it is not that always you do uh, the absolute value of velocity to get speed right so so speed and velocity are very different from that aspect right so what you observe here is there could be times when speed may have same value as velocity there could be times when speed could be negative of velocity i should say the velocity should be negative of speed but many times what we see is that the velocity is very different especially the average velocity is very different from speed so whenever you're working on questions relating to speed and velocity take care that distance is always positive displacement could be positive or negative and um, it could be you know after the whole journey the whole displacement could be zero as in our case so take that into consideration when you solve problems so i hope this video kind of short in itself but with an important concept conveys clearly that velocity is change in position with time and speed is change in distance with time speed always is non-negative right so speed is non-negative let me write that right negative right but velocity could be could be any number right so it's a real number it could be negative zero positive anything right so that is what it is and also remember that average velocity is not necessarily uh, related with the average speed right they could be very different so therefore take that into consideration while solving problems on rate of change especially average rate of change thank you and all the best